flying all the way from Japan, just arrived three hours ago. Three hours ago. Yeah. Um, entrepreneur, and genius. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, do you hear me? Yes. yes. So, uh, thank all of you guys for giving me great opportunity to meet with your new friends in Kuala Lumpur. Hello, uh, my name is Shun, and I, I, I am a Wikipedia holic. <laughs> well, I, I spent uh, browsing Wikipedia for five dollars, six hours a day. Every so day. do I! <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, I am a software developer and an entrepreneur. Uh, however, I am not uh, hard-working people. <laughs> <laughs> Neither am I! <laughs> uh, well, I'm, maybe I'm not really an entrepreneur. Maybe I'm uh, just a small business owner kind of thing. But uh, anyway, I prefer to live happily over hard-working to get lots of money. And <laughs> The most money-making site is not there. Uh, this one. There's one more missing, man. Uh, well, I have one more site, but that, that one is not money-making. So yeah. uh, here's like, well, very prof profitable website in Japan. And uh, well, this one is also, we have an English version of it. We sell a Japanese video audio product on the web. And, <laughs> uh, um, I'm from Japan, but currently living in Bangkok for uh, three months. Just uh, I'm, I'm just avoiding a cold Japanese winter. <laughs> and, sure. Yeah, and I use uh, Ruby language to create all the systems behind those websites. Uh, and I've been using Ruby for seven years and I love Ruby. And I believe that I couldn't make those businesses without Ruby language. Uh, well, uh, so I see uh, many programmers here in this room, right? Uh, sorry, this talk is not for you guys. <laughs> It's a well, programming language for dummies, no, business guys. <laughs> well, half the crowd is going to go outside. <laughs> well, it's okay because it's uh, so many people and it's quite intimidating. Uh, uh, I'm scared out. Uh, so, today's talk is a, well, a little bit over ambitious talk, topic. It's uh, kind of difficult to talk about programming language for non-programmer people, and uh, I have only 10 minutes uh, to do so. And usually when I talk outside of Japan, usually I talk about uh, businesses in Japan, because, well, you don't know the, how business is going on in Japan, so I can talk all this bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, well, actually tonight, I expected more business kind of people, so yeah, I expected to talk about the programming language bullshit to you, but uh, uh, and most of you are the programmers, so maybe you will say boo boo. boo. <laughs> anyway, so, um, <laughs> that is so no. It's, uh, here's a summary of my talk. Uh, First, I will explain about what the programming language is, and uh, then the 50 years history of programming language, such as C, Java, Paul, Ruby, um, so on. And, uh, well, and then I will talk about uh, why the choice of the programming language is important to your business. It's, it's, well, uh, what is is a well session for all the web kind of people, but anyway, in nowadays most of businesses are very 
for most of businesses, it's very important to create a good software. And so, and if you want to create a good software, it's very important to choose a good programming language because it's very important to hire great programmers. It's if you chose wrong language, uh, well, it's very difficult to hire great programmers. Well, so it's a. <laughs> what the computer do is a quite simple thing. Take the data from somewhere and calculate and then output to somewhere else. It's uh, very simple. And uh, computer program is a bunch of commands which say what to do to a computer. And uh, well, basically the commands are consistent with uh, those uh, input, output, read, write calculate and uh, uh, con evaluate condition and then jump it like this. Um, yeah, you know about this, right? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> well, it's a, this command uh, looks very simple, mm, but uh, still, the, still the latest Intel CPUs have those kind of commands in it they run with the machine code, like this kind of thing. But, uh, well, maybe, uh, how, how many of you guys uh, have uh, written assembly language or machine code? Oh, oh many. Wow. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, modern programming languages hide all the boring details well, of those machine code. Uh, this is uh, IBM 402. It's the uh, earliest computing machine. And uh, this is a kind of computer, but uh, this, this is the program of this computer. This is not a code, just a bunch of cables. It's a hardwired logic. And uh, it takes a uh, whole bunch of cards as an input and then output uh, well some paper or something. It's a well but so these days computers are quite simple. Just take some input such as uh, sensors, payroll, bills, it is then calculate it, then output some report summary of it. So and Modern stored program calculator, computer, is uh, invented by this guy, maybe, maybe another guy, anyway. <laughs> uh, it's Monument architecture. Yeah, Monument architecture, right. And uh, this stored program computer is, uh, program is stored as a code in a memory instead of a hardwired logic. So, here, here the code was born. Computer reads each command from memory instead of from as a wire and calculate according to it. So, so here's the beginning of the programming. The first programmer was a lady. Ah, lady yeah. Analogous. Yeah. Analogous. yeah. So, uh, programming language has been evolved so much in 50 years. It's a, uh, well, here's a chart of from programming language by generations, and uh, I categorize it just by my feelings, so maybe you will get upset because your favorite language is uh, put uh, in the wrong place. Uh, and, uh, like, well, of course I put the Ruby in the most modern place because I have Ruby. <laughs> Everybody makes mistakes. Right? <laughs> yeah. What's your son, man? It's not covered. It's a holy war. Where's PHP? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not PHP. What? <laughs> <laughs> uh, here's the example course uh, which uh, concatenates two text to make a new one text. Uh, and one is written assembly language and one is written C and one is written Ruby. But actually I haven't 
been using assembly of C for more than 10 years. So maybe I made a lot of mistakes anyway. It's a, but it's a, just an example to see how the difference is so big between the languages. And with an assembly language, uh, we have a 16 lines of code and it's, it looks really complex. Uh, with C language, it's just, it has just three lines of code, but it still looks intimidating for non-programmers. And for Ruby language, it's just one line of code, and uh, it, it can be can easily understood by non-programmers. It's very simple. So, many innovations occurred in 50 years. Those innovations changed pro productivity dramatically. Well, I assume the well, difference of productivity between machine code or Ruby is bigger than 100 times. <coughs> Those features are about abstractions. It lets programmers free from small details. And, well, with a modern programming language, you can write a code much shorter than older ones because, well, it's, uh, it hides all the details. And, the effect of choosing programming language is not only on productivity. <laughs> yeah. It's very wrong. It's a part of power. Yeah. I believe the most important factor is effects on recruiting. Well, great programmers love modern and better languages, not PHP, not <laughs> 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 PHP, I don't know, anyway, you want to Actually, not too expensive. Ruby Java, man. And, uh, uh, two linguists called uh, Sapir and Wolf from the uh, Hatsis in 1954, uh, which says that structure of the language affects your thinking and the culture. And uh, the Yukihiro Matsumoto, the creator of the Ruby language, said uh, his language affects programmers' way to think. And actually he says that Ruby makes the better programmer. And, <laughs> and the Paul Graham guy of the Y Combinator, uh, he says that uh, the language Features of better languages can only be perceived by users of better language because it's, uh, it's kind of those features are kind of abstraction and it's difficult to understand for well people uh, who never use this one. So it means the user of better language will know much better abstractions about their programming. So, better abstraction means better design. So, well, Ruby makes you a better programmer, I think. <laughs> and if you are starting a new startup and you are looking for a good programmer, you should visit user groups of those, well, okay. languages, especially Ruby. <laughs> <laughs> you can meet with great programmers and Maybe, yeah, <coughs> Ruby, Python, Scala, please, Pascal, maybe, well, some old school people are going to PAL, use a good, anyway, and, uh, well, I think it's better to host the event, yeah, as you said. <laughs> it's, it's really important to meet with great programmers to create a great startup. So you should visit those tech startups. So thank you so much for listening and I... I
Thank you so much.